Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the game Shape Pizza. So what we're gonna be doing for this game is building our very own pizza. No, unfortunately not a real one. It is gonna be a paper pizza, but um, we're gonna be doing that. And so that's gonna be some geometry, which is, you know, in math with lots of different shapes. So I'm gonna put the instruction sheet on the side. You're gonna have this, you can look at this when you're doing it yourself. But right now, I'm gonna tell you what to do. So we don't need this right now. I'm gonna put it right here. And so basically how you're gonna start is you're gonna grab all your toppings. You'll have even more than this, but for example, we're just gonna pull out a few toppings. And yes, your toppings are all different shapes. We have circles, we have hexagons, we have squares, rectangles, and even triangles. So we're gonna put our toppings there. And then we're gonna grab our dough. That's how you make a pizza, right? You need your dough. So we're gonna grab our dough. Our dough is a big circle. And then we're gonna grab our cheese. We need cheese on our pizza, right? I mean, cheese is yummy. So we have our hexagon cheese. So right now we have a circle and a hexagon and we're gonna go ahead and create our pizza. I'm just gonna put some circles, I think. These kind of look like pepperonis, huh? We have a purple one. Maybe some of these yellow squares, why not? That could be some more cheese. We can pretend these are mushrooms and onions and all these yummy foods. Let your imagination run wild, create whatever you want. Hmm, this is looking pretty good. It's getting pretty full, huh? I think we're gonna stop there for this pizza. You can put as many toppings as you want as long as your shapes aren't too covering each other, as long as you're not overlapping too, too much. I can see all my shapes pretty well still. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put my pizza on the side right now and grab the sheet you would have. Unfortunately, I did already write on it because my first video cut out, but we're gonna just pretend, okay? So you're gonna get this shape, this um, shape pizza paper and it won't have any writing on it. It's gonna be blank and you're gonna get to correspond from your shape pizza to your paper. So what I mean by that is you're gonna write however many shapes are on your pizza and then you're gonna write it on your paper. So on our pizza, we have how many circles? We have our big dough. You gotta make sure you count the dough. One, two, three, four. So I'd write four right here, which I already did. And you could write it as a number or you can write it as the word four. Whichever way, as long as you're keeping track, and you'd go through it and do that for all the shapes. So two triangles, one, two. Oh, wait, we actually have three on this one, so we're gonna fix that. Three triangles, two squares. Oh, no, it is three squares. I forgot the pink one. Two rectangles, yep. And do we have five hexagons? I think so, we have our big cheese. One, two, three, four, five. So after you do this part, you can, if you want, you can stop here, or you can grab the other paper I have for you that involves keeping track of the colors and the number. I think this could be pretty fun. Some people might like this more, maybe not. It's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. So instead of just having the shapes like this one, we have both. So to double check how many red circles we have, I'm just gonna look on here, count one, two, and then I'm also just gonna hold it up and make sure it matches that. It looks pretty good, right? And you can do that with all of the shapes if you want as you go down the list. You don't have to, but it does help sometimes when you're not sure if that's the right color. And you're just gonna write your numbers for all of them. And so after that, you can refer back to our shape helping sheet. So I created this just in case you forget. It does tell you the exact name of the shape. And I also created an example, example paper for you guys that has that same example pizza here, on here, with the numbers for each of the worksheets, just in case you need a little extra help. That's how you play Shape Pizza.